I am Snigdha Bharadwaj, Assistant Professor, ITS College of Pharmacy welcomes you in my presentation. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about one compartment open model for IV infusions. So, let us get started. One compartment open model. So, a compartment is a group of tissues with similar blood flow and drug affinity. So, uh, as we discussed in earlier session that uh, one compartment means we are considering body as a single compartment which has similar uh, blood flow pattern and we are considering that drug is uniformly distributing among all the uh, body tissues uh, at the similar in the similar manner. So, that is why we are considering as single compartment single compartment. So, one compartment open model is generally used to describe plasma level administration of a single dose of a drug. So, assumptions are drug may be administered to patient by various routes including oral, topical or parenteral routes of administration. So, basically there are various routes of administration and drug can be given either by oral, topical or parenteral routes of administration. Drug moves dynamically in out in and out uh, this compartments and rate of input is greater than the rate of elimination. So, we are saying that the rate of uh, input that means the entrance uh, the drug entering uh, in the system or compartments is greater than the rate of elimination. So, these are basic assumptions we made uh, before following one compartment op open model. So, in my earlier session I have covered um, uh, the one compartment open model considerations for IV bolus administration and in this we will be covering for IV infusions. So, limitation for one op uh, open uh, one compartment open models are it does not assume that the drug concentration in plasma is equal to that in other body fluids. Basically, we are identifying or we are considering that uh, the body is uh, you know uh, we um, uh, are saying that it is a single compartment, but we are not assuming the difference of uh, drug concentration in plasma from the other compartment which are interlinked to the central compartment. So, uh, other body fluids may have different uh, drug concentration, but we are not identifying we are just uniformly identifying that dr how much drug is present in uh, this one compartment, but we are not observing the uh, distribution pattern and different concentration uh, profiles in different different tissues. The term open indicates that the input and output are unidirectional, unidirectional open model that means it is not reversible it is unidirectional right and that the drug can be eliminated from the body completely that it will not be uh, give the re reversible sign that means once it is entered absorbed and then distributed metabolized and eliminated it will not be reversibly uh, 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 entered to the body or uh, it will not be reversed in any kind right it will be eliminated right depending upon the rate of input one compartment open model are classified into IV bolus, IV infusion, extravascular administration that means zero order kinetics, extravascular administration, first order kinetics. So, basically we will talk uh, in this session we will talk about intravenous infusion. So, rapid IV injection is unsuitable when the drug has potential to precipitate toxicity. So, for those drugs who are ten who have tendency to uh, uh, show toxic profiles, uh, the IV injections, IV bolus injections are not uh, uh, recommended in that case when a stable concentration of drug in the body is desired. So, for that slow uh, uh, steady uh, profile of drug uh, to be reached, we need uh, other uh, pattern of administration that is intravenous infusion. So, in such situation the drug is administered at a constant rate zero order by IV infusion. So, uh, for the po those particular drugs we need IV infusion. The duration of constant rate infusion is usually much longer than the half life of drug. So, in this case uh, the uh, 
plasma concentration drug profile will be like uh, uh, constant at the end uh, the concentration will be constant because it is following 0 order concent independent concentration independent manner. So, in this usually in IV bolus first order kinetics was followed, but in uh, infusion IV infusion 0 order kinetics was followed. So, one compartment open model IV infusion drug administration through the intravenous route at constant rate over determined time interval. So, in this we uh, usually give uh, the drug at a constant rate to get the desired result and slow rate on starting the infusion there is no drug in the body and therefore, no elimination when no drug to so no elimination is there thus the rate of elimination will rise until it matches the rate of infusion as the drug enters to the system it will like uh, elimination will occur right accordingly and it will rise until it matches the rate of infusion. So, at that point of time the rate of infusion is equal to the rate of elimination as it was in the rate of absorption is equal to the rate of elimination in AOC plasma concentration profile curve for a single dose. So, but in infusion case uh, when no drug is in there uh, is in there that means no elimination will occur once uh, the elimination started reaching towards its peak that means, the rate of infusion will is equal to rate of elimination. The amount of drug in the body is then constant and is said to have reached a steady state that particular point is termed as a steady state concentration of a drug. That means, we can say the drug is now reached at steady state and the rate of elimination is equal to the rate of uh, infusion. Now, it can be presented as drug uh, R 0 because it is following 0 order kinetics. So, 0 order infusion rate are not blood and other body tissues and now uh, elimination constant K e. So, plasma concentration time profile for a drug given by constant rate IV infusion uh, CSS steady state SS represents steady state. So, uh, R naught divided by C L, C L is your clearance R naught infusion rates. So, C S S is equal to drug plasma concentration at steady state. So, for I V infusion we use this particular equation to calculate concentration drug plasma concentration at steady state using infusion rates and clearance, because we are saying that the, uh, the drug is entering to the body is getting eliminated and that particular steady state the drug infusion uh, rate is equivalent to that your uh, elimination rate. So, factor affecting the steady state plasma drug concentration uh, what are the different kind of factors affecting this process. So, infusion rate R naught the steady state drug concentration basically the in reaching steady state the rate of infusion plays a significant role. How? the steady state concentration is proportional to the infusion rate thus a higher infusion rate will result in higher steady state plasma drug concentration. So, higher infusion rate will give you higher steady state plasma concentration lower will give you the same clear uh, higher clearance of the drug will result in lower plasma drug concentration at steady state. So, higher clearance of drug from the body or from the compartment uh, will result in lower drug plasma. If the clearance rate will be high of the drug from the body, uh, it will lower the plasma concentration. That means, your elimination rate is higher than your uh, uh, you know entering rate of the drug to the body at steady state. So, uh, these uh, are the two factors which needs to be considered while uh, identifying or observing. Uh, pla steady state plasma concentration. The two curves indicate different infusion rates R naught and 2 R naught for the same drug. Uh, you see this plasma concentration time curve uh, for a given drug uh, for steady states IV infusions. Uh, whereas, you have seen that uh, in that particular plasma normal plasma pro profile curve that the curve is like this right. 
So, in this a slight uh, change in the figure is represented. So, we see plasma drug as it is steady state. So, the fall will not be seen and it will be like this. So, this is how we see uh, this uh, in IV infusion graph. So, you see this this plasma concentration of drug and this time. So, CSS is your steady state right drug plasma concentration and steady state. This is the infusion rate 2 RO 2 times right and this is the RO uh, infusion rate. So, infusion stopped when infusion is for sudden decline will be seen otherwise it will be if uh, in infusion will uh, be continued. So, it will be like this. So, uh, this is how we can say that infusion rate double and uh, 2 RO and then infusion is stopped when plotted on semi log graph yield a straight line with slope. So, when we use semi log graph to plot this particular uh, data, so we need uh, we see, we observe a straight uh, line with slope uh, ke uh, 2303. So, this line will give you that particular slope if we take semi log graph semi log graph. Okay. So, this is infusion time and this is uh, this is infusion rate and basically uh, this is the uh, plot style uh, we get generally uh, for IV infusions. So, advantages of zero order infusion of drug include ease of control of rate of infusion to fit individual patients need prevent uh, fluctuating maxima and minima uh, that means peak and valley, valley plasma levels desired especially when the drug has narrow therapeutic index. So, uh, for those drugs which has narrow therapeutic index, so this is the best identification methods, uh, one of the best identification methods. Electrolyte and nutrients can be conveniently administered simultaneously by the same a same infusion line in critically ill patients. So, in zero order infusion kinetics basically uh, these electrolytes and nutrients supplements can be uh, con con uh, simultaneously administered to the patients uh, if uh, on, uh, along with that particular drug administration if the drug uh, patient condition is not good. At any time during infusion, the and how uh, the derivation, how we can calculate it uh, using equations. At any time during infusion, the rate of change in the amount of drug in the body, dx by dt, rate of change, uh, is the difference between the zero order rate of drug infusion, uh, drug infusion, and the first order rate of elimination. Okay, so here we are taking rate of uh, infusion that is entering to the body and first order rate of elimination. So, difference we take. So, d x by d t is the difference is between 0 because we are focused here on the rate of infusion and the rate of elimination. So, rate of infusion is uh, basically 0 order kinetics following following 0 order kinetics and the elimination basically first order kinetics. So, d x by d t is equal to r naught minus k e x. So, if we integrate and rearrange the above equation, we will get x is equal to r naught by k e 1 e to the power minus k e t. So, uh, by solving this and taking that x is equal to v d by uh, v d dot c, v d is apparent volume of distribution whereas, c is a plasma concentration of drug. So, if we take x uh, as uh, uh, c uh, instead of x. So, we will find the value uh, here, we will find the formula c is equal to r naught k e v d uh, 1 minus and by simplification is uh, that uh, r naught c l t clearance 1 minus e to the power minus k e t. At the start of constant rate infusion, the amount of drug in the body is 0. That means, no elimination will occur uh, when no drug is entering to the body and hence there is no elimination. As the time passes, the amount of drug in the body 
rises gradually def definitely the uh, when you infusion occurs and it will uh, like it will be for long hours then drug is entering to the body and then uh, until a point after which rate of elimination equal so that means we will uh, say it as steady state of plateau or infusion equilibrium point so that point at which elimination and infusion rates are equal that will be uh, known as steady state plateau infusion equilibrium point so at steady state the rate of change of amount of drug in the body is considered zero right because drug is drug amount is not changing it is uh, constant right it is constant it is not either uh, rising or uh, uh, down uh, or uh, no, neither rising nor getting down so it is become constant and hence it is considered as zero so the equation becomes zero is equal to whereas we have seen uh, we have changed that x is uh, uh, with c so c becomes zero is equal to r not minus k e x s s x is the drug amount and steady state so transforming to concentration terms and rearranging the equation c s s is equal to r not k e v d is equal to k e v d will be like your uh, clearance so infusion rate uh, divided by clearance so basically your steady state concentration is depending on these two particular uh, parameters infusion rate and clearance that means infusion rate and elimination so where x s s and c s s are amount of drug in the body and concentration of drug in plasma at steady state respectively so where x s s are amount of drug in the body and drug in plasma drug concentration in plasma at steady state respectively the value of k e can be obtained from the slope of a straight line obtained after a semi logarithmic plot log c versus t so a value of this uh, k e uh, can be obtained from the slope uh, that uh, semi logarithmic plot as i have uh, shown you earlier using this this semi logarithmic plot so using this uh, slope uh, minus ke 2.303 uh, value so uh, semi logarithmic plot log c versus t alternatively ke can be calculated from the data collected during infusion to steady state as follows substituting r not divided by clt is equal to css that means you are uh, taking at uh, uh, plasma concentration at steady state levels so it can be replaced this uh, css is equal to infusion rate by clearance so we can replace this value uh, c is equal to css 1 minus e to the power minus ket so we can use this equation to uh, uh, get the desired concentration uh, des uh, to calculate the concentration in blood of that particular drug so c s s minus c uh, further uh, uh, solving this equation so after transforming into log form we can have log c s s minus c divided by c s s is equal to minus k e t 2.303 so this is how we can get semi logarithmic uh, plot and how can how we can plot uh, these value in this semi log plot to compute k e from infusion k e is your elimination rate constant data to steady state so this is how uh, you put that log value of plasma uh, c s s plasma concentration at steady state and your plasma concentration and steady state divided by log value and then you can have this slope value here and time t now overall you can calculate this particular uh, jo, uh, uh, things so once again i would like to highlight the important considerations while studying uh, one compartment open models uh, yes so basically rapid iv injection is unsuitable 
that is why we use rapid uh, for uh, sorry IV infusion administration to achieve steady state levels. So, in such situations constant rate is followed by zero order kinetics in IV infusion mostly. So, duration of uh, constant rate infusion is uh, usually much longer than the high half life of drug and drug uh, uh, is uh, drug level is uh, constant and it will not get down uh, to the uh, below that particular level and that uh, point is known as steady state point and on that steady state the elimination rate uh, is equal to uh, sorry the infusion rate is equal to your elimination rate. So, drug administration uh, constant uh, constantly we administer drug at uh, in, in the uh, in the form of infusion for long durations and over determined time intervals. So, uh, on starting the infusion there is no drug in the body. So, no elimination occur, but uh, as the time passes the at the point uh, when we say it is steady state point that means, the rate of uh, infusion is equal to rate of elimination. So, this model can be presented as drug entering to the body through infusion and uh, spreading or distribution among blood and body tissues and eliminated using this CSS uh, R naught uh, divided by C L. R naught is your infusion rates and C L is your clearance. So, infusion rates and clearance are two important parameters to be studied while considering IV infusions calculation. So, this is the uh, general plot and semi log, log, uh, semi log plot of uh, plasma concentration versus time profile for a given drug for you by IV infusion. So, you see that CSS represent drug plasma concentration at steady state and this is infusion and infusion rate R naught and time and semi slope can be calculated uses this minus K e 2.303 that is elimination constant. Advantages are they uh, we can easily con uh, uh, ease of control of rate of infusion to fit individual patient need. We can modify modulate the infusion rates as per the patient requirements prevents fluctuating maxima and minima peak and valley values plasma values and uh, supplements can be given uh, simultaneously along with the drug infusions. So, uh, using these equation d x by d t uh, is equal to r naught minus k e x we can calculate uh, the drug amount present in the particular point of time and simplifying these equation we can have this final equation C C S S 1 minus e to the power k e t. So, this is the final equation we generally use to calculate uh, the plasma concentration in IV infusions. So, uh, using this log value we can plot uh, log C S S minus C divided by C S S and slope minus k e 2.303. So, semi log plot to compute K e from infusion data up to steady state. So, I uh, once again I tell you the basic difference in IV bolus and IV infusion that uh, in IV bolus the drugs which cannot be given uh, uh, with rapid and quick action as it may uh, occur uh, it may show up with the toxicity uh, in the patients those patients will be given uh, the drugs as IV infusions and it can be uh, you know uh, modulated and controlled as per the patient need the infusion can be adjusted at the patient as per the patient needs. With this note uh, I will conclude my lecture uh, and these are references I hope now you are able to understand. Uh, the difference between uh, one compartment open model of IV bolus and IV infusion and uh, we will be covering extravascular administration as well in my upcoming lectures till then stay safe and take care. Thank you so much.